does somebody mean when they refer to the converse, inverse, or contrapositive of a statement? Take a simple statement about, um, no, not that, no, wait, back to, ah, I like that one. Bikes have two wheels. Logical thinkers that you and I are, we can see that this means everything that's a bike has two wheels. The logical structure is, for all x, x is a bike implies x has two wheels. Let's write that symbolically. That's first order logic, but we can just simplify that even further with the two propositions. If you got a blank look on your face, or your eyes are glazing over right now, go back and check out my logic and language series. You can play with that statement. First, invert it. The inverse of if it's a bike, then it has two wheels is if it's not a bike, then it does not have two wheels. The inverse of a statement isn't necessarily true. In this case, there are two wheeled objects that are not bikes. The converse of if it's a bike, then it has two wheels switches the terms. So we end up with if it has two wheels, then it's a bike. The converse may be true if the original is true, but it isn't necessarily. But notice that the converse will be true if the inverse is true. Think about that. The inverse negated both propositions, and the converse switched both propositions. There's also a contrapositive with switching and negation going on. For our original statement, if it's a bike, then it has two wheels. The contrapositive is, if it's not two-wheeled, then it's not a bike. Looks like that's true, so long as the original was. It's not good logic if we can't abstract these structures to other instances. Using any two propositions, A and B, where A implies B, we can get to the inverse, the converse, and the contrapositive this way. Something to notice, if you want to get even more playful with your logic, is that you can use the concepts recursively on themselves. What I mean is, for example, the inverse isn't just the inverse of the statement, it's also the converse of the contrapositive, because it switches the two propositions around. And the contrapositive isn't just the contrapositive, it's also the converse of the inverse. This is possible because every statement can be reevaluated just like the original. They're not inherently inverses or converses or contrapositives, they're just statements. They're those things in relation to each other. You'll find that people fumble with these terms or use them imprecisely. So take this first step to straighten out for yourself the relationship between a statement and the ways it can be twisted up. Thank you.